Here we have some word problems that are about unequal quantities. This first one says, find the number that is 69 greater than twice the opposite of itself. Whenever I see a word problem like this, I'm looking for the word is, or the result is, or some form of to be, and we see that right here. That's almost always the equal sign, so I'm just going to write that down. And then let's look at what's on the left of that and on the right. On the left, it just says find the number. Well, the number, that is going to be our variable. I'm going to choose to call that x. So x equals this stuff, 69 greater than twice the opposite of itself. Well, itself is just x. The opposite of itself, the opposite of a number is the negative. So the opposite of itself is negative x. Twice the opposite of itself is 2 times that. So I could write that as negative 2x. And then we want something 69 greater than that. So we just add 69 to it. All right, now we've got an equation we can deal with. Uh, I think what I'm going to do, uh, since I've got x's on both sides of the equal sign, I'm going to get rid of this negative 2x by adding 2x. I like to get rid of those negative numbers when I can. Over here we get 3x, and this just goes away. So we get 3x equals 69. We just divide by 3 to get x equals 23. All right, let's try another one. So this one says, Evan found that if the product of 4 and a number is decreased by 25, the result is 52 less than the product of 3 and the number. What is the number? Again, I'm going to look for the word is here. And here we go. The result is, that's a keyword that often stands in for the equal sign. And so we'll have two sides of the equation, one on the left, one on the right. Let's start with the left. To the left of this result is, it says, the product, okay, that's multiplication, of 4 and a number. Well, a number, that's our key word for our variable. So let's call that x. The product of 4 and a number, product means multiply, 4 and x, that's just 4 times x, or 4x. So if that 4x, I'll write that, is decreased by 25. Well, to decrease something by 25, we just subtract 25 from it. And that's everything to the left. Let's work on the right now. The result is 52 less than the product of 3 and the number. OK, we've got another product here, 3 and the number. The number is x. So the product of 3 and the number is just 3 times x, or 3x. But we want 52 less than that product, so we just need to subtract 52. So that's our equation. Now we need to solve it. I think I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. That gives us, uh, sorry, x over here, just 1x. No x is over here. And then we'll add 25 to both sides to get x alone. And we get x equals negative 27. So those are a few word problems with unequal quantities.